Hi guys, shaking in again. Okay, my topic for today is will we ever not have to explain ourselves in ET? Um, I received a letter back from my complaint the other week um, and I thank the person very much. I don't want to mention any names anyway. But I just wanted to read it back to you and um, then explain a bit more. Um, in their, their email to me, it said, I am sorry that you were disappointed with your recent experience and for the inconvenience and stress this has caused to you. In regards to your experience with having to wait for quite some time before being served, I would like to sincerely apologise that this has made your visit uncomfortable and exasperated your condition. It was never the intention of our staff to make you feel this way, nor add to the stress of completing this transaction. If in future you are needing to transact business in one of our service centres, please do not hesitate to advise the staff of your condition upon arriving so they can offer you assistance to ensure you are comfortable. I'm sorry that this was not identified to avoid the situation that occurred. Now, um, that's, that's lovely to know because at this actual business, when you walk in, there is someone that asks you what you need and they give you a ticket. But it's not as easy as that as I explained in my reply. Um, my reply was, thank you for this suggestion to tell your staff of our condition upon arriving. Unfortunately, that doesn't always help in a lot of places as no one knows what it is and we are too embarrassed to stand there and explain what it is while shaking worse. This is the reason for me doing the shaking in videos. So when we say we have ET, people will automatically know what it is or they will notice us shaking, know what it is and we won't have to explain ourselves. Do you even know most doctors, specialists, nurses and hospitals do not know what ET is? I'm sure my hospital records say alcoholic. When I have told doctors and hospitals in the past I have a central tremor, they look at me like, yeah, right, because they don't know what it is. This is what makes going out in public worse for us. It's embarrassing enough shaking all over without the added stares and judgments. Hopefully my videos can help spread the word so we can shake in public and feel normal for once, not like a freak. Thank you for your time and I hope your business is one business that I have helped learn about ET so our transactions can be easier for us in the future. Um, what I said about the hospitals is true. I, one time when I was on the, the Indorel, the medication that they give you for ET, it lowers your blood pressure. I already have really low blood pressure. Um, I wasn't feeling well one night and it was a friend's birthday and we'd had a couple of drinks. Um, I wasn't feeling well, so I'd stopped drinking. Um, we got home and I, I wasn't feeling well. I got up and I was dizzy. I made it to the toilet. I didn't know what end it was going to come out <laughs> or whether I was going to pass out. I ended up passing out and I fell on the floor and split my eyebrow open. Um, so I had to go to hospital to get it stitched up. When I walked in, because I was shaking, they said, have you had any drinks? I was honest. I said, yeah, I had a couple earlier, but only a couple. Um, they see you shaking like this. Of course, they don't believe you. When they, oh, they put the numbing needle in the actual cut, oh, my God, that makes nearly anyone jump off the bed. And I've gone like that with my hands. And the doctors jumped away from the bed and said, if you don't stay still, I'm going to get security. And I thought, like, that was a normal reaction from anyone. But because I reckon on my records it says the alcoholic, because the times I go, I do tell them I have ET, they don't know what it is. They automatically, I don't know whether ET, ET sounds too much like DT. Do they think I'm saying e, DT? When will this stop? When will we have to stop explaining ourselves everywhere we go? Um, you know, to say, I've told you before, to say we have ET, they think of that guy over my shoulder. They don't know what a central tremor is. It's time for us to be known. 
It's time for us to stop feeling like this everywhere we, we go. Um, so, guys, let's get it out there. Let's tell the world we shake. We've got a central tremor, nothing else. Okay, guys, thank you very much for your time today. Have a great shaky weekend, Friday afternoon again. Woohoo! Shane's on night shift all weekend, so that's going to be a boring one, but it'll be a nice, relaxing one too. All right, guys, take care. Love you all. Stay safe. Bye.